Welcome to Bennett Brother Shop, Gary Bennett, Parker Bennett. We're working on our F450 Cummins swap. We got the P-pump in the vise here. We have already installed valve springs and head studs in our engine. And now we need to upgrade the uh, governor springs in the pump in order so this pump will allow the motor to turn 4,000 RPMs. And our springs that we have are right here. Governor spring kit. We got it, we're gonna install it so you'll get to see us do that today. And we're also gonna put a rack extension on it today as well. That gives us a few more degrees of throttle movement. So there we go. So let's get started, thanks. All right, we got the pump in the vise. We've already removed. This is the uh, cutoff lever. I'll show, Bracket. I'll show you here real quick. So you can see it. So right here, there's one bolt right here that holds it on and next, next it goes on like that. Also be careful, there's a keyway in this shaft right you here. Can you can lose it easy, so make sure you, that was right there. you put it up. Got that off. All right, I got my wrench here. This is a 22 millimeter. I'm gonna go ahead and carefully remove the this cap so we can get in here and see the governor springs. Put this up here. All right, as you can see, the governor springs are not visible. You have to rotate it so you I'll can show see you them. here. If you got your pump like off like us, you gotta make sure your flag pin is turned around so you can turn it. So we know the pump's safe to turn. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it. Perfect. Get something to lift that off. We're getting it cleaned up so we can actually measure the depth of this projection. How far does it stick up? We'll make sure our calipers zeroed. There it is, it's zeroed out. You're gonna measure from the top of this pin Which is to, the in, to, stud. to the inside of the notch. That's how you do it. That's 164. Let's try it again. One fifty-five is continuing to get shallower and shallower. We gotta get comfortable with our measurement. And make sure we hold up things square. One fifty-five. That's our number. We're gonna write that down. One hundred fifty-five thousandths of an inch. I'm gonna make sure this is good and clean. Put me a mark on it. You want the yellow marker? No, no, I can see it just fine. Okay, I got a good mark on it. I'll show you a trick now. You see this business card? I'm gonna take this business card. I'm just gonna stick it in there just like that. That'll keep me from dropping anything that I don't want to drop in the pump. It's a good little trick, so. I'm gonna take my little pick here. I should be able to. I need something a little better than that. 
Here, come turn it. Come turn it, I'll hold it. inside one first yeah be careful there's some shims that can come out with them there's one Saved me right there. Now I gotta get that cup. this out the very bottom. I don't see any shims in this one. Okay. But you leave the big spring in. Yep, right? yep. Big spring stay down. I'm just checking. Not seeing anything. I've got all my I got all my springs already together as a unit. I'm just going to drop them all in there as a unit. And let's see, they went right in. And this, these are 4K springs. They are. Here's my cap back. I'll wipe it off. Yeah. I can still see my line on it. If you look, see that's an oblong hole. You want to reorient it. See my mark's right there above my finger. And you want to reorient it in the same direction you took it off. Just like that. Does it have a line up? It does. The, the spring, the cap does. Yeah. I'm going to take my nut, my nut back. Very careful to get that started. sure we're looking to see how we're looking here that was about 
about three clicks, you know. One fifty. So that's got to be it. No way another half turn. Of no. Be it. So. Yeah. So that's got that. Okay, I'm gonna take our little card out. This one's done. Save that. We're gonna use it. I'm gonna continue spinning the pump. I think I'll spin it this way this time. About to see another set of springs. And there they are. A little bit of pressure on it right there. Okay. About 130. I'll write that down. Voila. Oh, shoot. Before I take it off, I'm going to mark it. These things got notches, so even if you move it a little bit, it goes right back where you had it. And it's good to write your numbers down as well. piece of paper just makes it a lot better. Much easier. Right off. Come back with my pick. Let's start taking springs out individual. Got that one. No spacers or nothing in there. Come back and get this middle one. No spacers on that one either. And the little one. Nothing on that one. That's the bottom part. Checking to make sure I didn't lift anything. There's nothing in there. I'll show you me here. Assemble these springs. There's my bottom. Put that one on there. Put that one on there. Put that one right there in the middle. And very carefully put it in as a unit, just like that. Take my cap, reorient it, have my mark up, just like that. And start screwing the got started. I'm gonna screw it right back in there. No, we'll measure it, but that's got marks lined up right there. Should be dead on the money. All right, we're going. All right, I'm going to confirm our measure. We had 130,000 on this one. I just went over and looked at where I recorded it. That's 131. Let me check it one more time. 
Yep, that's it. The same mark, and you you marks lined up. So. All right, we've got our measurements confirmed. We'll correspond. Ready to put a cap back on. There's nothing there. Good and tight. Take my little keyway. See it on the end of my finger? I take my gloves off. Okay. I drop it if I didn't. Okay, a little keyway right back right there. We're gonna slide this bad boy right back on there. You're on. Got that back tight. Now the governor spring is all done. Uh, now we can go ahead. We'll uh, put this uh, rack extension cap on. Let me show you that. All right, right here. This is the uh, the rack cap that limits the travel. Here is the uh, rack extension cap. And it's just gonna go on there and it gives it just it's a little bit more more travel. This well, is that box a, in fit. This is a. 27 that's the size for that rack cap go ahead and pull it out that don't have any gasket on it no we're gonna reuse that copper gasket take my copper gasket and put it right back on. and the difference you can show off. them the difference too See uh, how much deeper it is. A bit deeper, actually. No yeah, it's it. trapped, though. It's aluminum now. in it it's a little taller four millimeters more of rack travel yeah that's significant really all right everybody uh, we've got our governor springs installed our 4k governor springs new in this p-pump it's awful nice while you got it here on the rack we've also uh, added the rack cap which gives us four millimeters more travel so it gives us a little more fuel when we need it. And uh, so we got several other things. We've got AFC housing uh, upgrade. We'll do that and you'll show the video. We also pulled out one of our delivery valves today just to check to see what this pump had in it. So that's where we are. Look forward to the next video and hope everybody's safe. It's all good. Thanks, bye. Mm -hmm.